The current scientific worldview, the materialist philosophy of nature, is thoroughly depressing. And although the applications of this mechanistic science have led to many human benefits, the worldview that you're nothing but your brain, there's no purpose in evolution or in nature, uh, God doesn't exist, is just an idea inside human heads and therefore in human brains, um, that the universe is entirely purposeless and pointless. Um, this is a very depressing worldview, and it's not surprising so many people are depressed in the modern world. But as we move beyond the materialist uh, worldview to a more holistic view, I think we get a view of nature that's much more inclusive. We, we're living organisms, we live in our societies in a living world and with living soil, um, living um, earth, and a living universe. And I think this is a much more inspiring uh, worldview, and one that gives us a picture of a world in which we can feel much more at home. Science hasn't, on the whole, looked into well-being very much, but the social sciences have begun to do that. And one of the well-known conclusions is that when people are very poor, an increase in wealth and material goods does lead to a very significant increase in well-being. But once you reach a kind of middle class level, in America an income of about $75,000 a year, then increases in wealth and material goods beyond that point have very little extra benefit for well-being or happiness. Uh, there's a kind of law of diminishing return. The other thing that the sciences have offered in recent years is positive psychology, looking at what it is that makes people happy. Much of the history of psychology was to uh, look at what made people unhappy. It started with pathology. Uh, but now normal psychology is a major field. And one of the things that makes people happy is being in a state of flow through absorption in their work, through playing, just through playing, through being in a conversation, through dancing, uh, through doing things with other people that are completely absorbing. All of these give a greater sense of flow and well-being and also, being grateful is something that makes people feel better. If you're grateful for what you've got, you're going to feel better and have a better sense of well-being being than if you're just complaining about what you haven't got. It's partly the, is the glass half empty or half full syndrome. Then the sciences have looked at other aspects of well-being. The greatest senses of well-being come through mystical experience. And we can think, if we're a materialist, that it's all just inside the brain. But any experience of ineffable beauty, even the experience of the beauty of flowers, which is one of the things that I find most beautiful in the world, um, is something that has evolved over time. It's got to something to do with much more than just humans. Flowers evolved as a dialogue between the plant and the insect kingdoms. So the beauty of flowers must create some sense of well-being in bees or other insects. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't have evolved like that. Uh, and I think that many creatures besides ourselves can, can share in a greater consciousness, uh, a greater sense of beauty and connection.